This is the guts of a Ryobi a P780 one plus the tool system LED lantern and fairly simple inside it there's a um, that surface mount package I don't recognize but uh, that's a um, MT7201 that's probably just a um, monolithic um, constant current buck converter driver um, IC for um, LED lights where's the associated diode inductor bunch of passives that thing which is going to be a current fuse the uh, A050 that's probably a probably a half ampere input fuse there's that right there which is the foot on the other side of the board that's a footprint for a <coughs> A uh, common mode choke for noise suppression, which was not fitted, obviously. Either they don't care about your armor, it wasn't as much of an issue. But it would go there, as with its, uh, and the uh, output capacitor there, and um, wires would connect there. Likewise with the um, output for the LED, but without the cap. And there's a push button switch. And a uh, microcontroller that controls the um, in the um, push button and things like um, probably PWMing the LED, LED driver um, for the low power output because there is fairly visible flicker uh, from the pulse width modulation in the output. And there's that thing right there. Which is probably the, um, the ground um, VCC and uh, P5. That's probably part of the. Um, and then there's um, P1, XO, P1.0. It's all those um, big pads that don't have any uh, solder resist on them. Those are just going to be for probably something like a bed of, bed of nails tester, which also does the programming of the micro, which is a cob because they're a bunch of dicks and they don't want people don't know what it is, although that's probably just going to be some extremely low-end Chinese micro. And then there's a bunch of unpopulated uh, jumpers, which are probably be either solder balls, or judging by the size, probably 0402 um, um, package um, zero ohm resistor jumpers, uh, just for various options, none of which are actually being used in this, and there's a bunch of miscellaneous passives, uh, Flux gun, of course. And uh, just looking for a potential regulator for this thing, and I don't see it, so maybe it could be microcontroller with a built-in shunt rig or something because it's it'd be extremely simple so they would be able to get away with it it's not really doing anything much and um i don't know what's getting on further there's that thing which is a heat sink which is a bit on the runty side for what's probably about one and a half watt to two watt led somewhere in that range it claims 130 lumens which with modern leds would be about that Especially for the crappy Chinese ones that this would use. And this is the LED for the lantern. It looks to be probably a 3 watt LED that they're under driving at maybe 1.5 watts to 2 watts. Probably the drive current is something like 500 milliampers, which is, or 500 milliampers to 700 milliampers, which is fairly common range of drive currents. And, um, these are also fairly standard modules. Um, so I've heard comments about replacing the LEDs and how the things aren't very easy to replace. And admittedly, it took a bit of work to get into this thing. It took a um, T8 um, anti-tamper Torx screwdriver and two different uh, Phillipses and a drill and grab it because 
two of the really, really, really crappy uh, Phillips head screws that held the uh, the um, plastic bits on um, sheared out, and I had to drill them out. And I also had to draw out a little thing in one of the side cases where there was a hidden screw under a little plastic um, cover. So, but then again, they just don't want people to get into these things. Not that it'll stop us. So probably as far as a replacement lamp, um, you could probably replace it for probably in a neighborhood of 15 bucks. Just get a really cheap uh, Cree LED module and a buck toot. And probably a few bucks bucks more for a, a, an external trim pot uh, for and a dimmable um, buck driver. I think the cheapest ones that can do that are um, buck pucks. Those are only like 13 bucks from uh, DigiKey. And an external switch, because obviously you'd have to bypass all the micron crap unless you wanted to write something to do that, but I'd bother.